Well, there are eight candidates standing in this presidential election, but of course there's only one serious contender, and that's Vladimir Putin, who's already ruled Russia for the past 18 years as president and prime minister, and who is expected to win again overwhelmingly in this nationwide vote. Opposition activists in Russia say that's partly because the Kremlin under Putin has steadily tightened its grip on the media and constantly promotes uh, Putin on state televis television. But also, more importantly, that opposition politicians here have been killed or silenced or otherwise excluded from the electoral process. Indeed, the main opposition leader in Russia, Alexei Navalny, was not permitted to stand in these elections because of a criminal conviction which he says was politically motivated. But it's also clearly true that President Putin has an extremely loyal following among many Russians. He's seen as the kind of strong leader who many believe here that their country needs. Uh, and the fact that Putin has led Russia into a very deep confrontation with the West, most recently over the alleged use of a, a nerve agent by Russia uh, in a killing or an attempted killing in Britain, does not appear to have dented his popularity. US election meddling, intervention in Ukraine, Olympic doping, the Syrian conflict. These are all areas where Vladimir Putin has shrugged off allegations of wrongdoing but at the same time allowed himself to be cast as an extremely powerful player on the international stage. And that appears to have gone down pretty well with his supporters. Of course, it's a, a risky strategy that has provoked international sanctions that could yet escalate uh, and that have already led to economic hardship among many Russians. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see in these elections how enthusiastic is the turnout and how much of the vote Putin actually gets. We'll certainly be watching that very closely, as of course will be the Kremlin. Matthew Chance, CNN Moscow.